And welcome to Scrambled. We're going to have an excellent show for you tonight. We have an amazing review with uh, top music aficionados discussing a great album called Swamp People. Um, they know a lot about what they're talking about and, you know, as you'll learn a lot about an amazing album that just isn't getting the recognition it deserves. Well, yes, of course. And these two critics, one of them being our very own Bryce, the other being, as you may recall, uh, two episodes ago, we had a musical guest, Justin Collis, and after the interview, he was actually, um, would not be allowed out of the studio, as many of us are, so he has been stuck here with us, so he just gets in our segment sometimes. Mm -hmm. We don't have the heart to kick him out. And we really get into the heart of the things you can do this summer. So for those of you just sitting at home, flipping through channels, watching us, you're going to get a lot of ideas of ways to keep you busy this summer. So You enjoy the show now. All right, welcome to Day Talk. My name is Bryce Parker. I'm your host today. Today in the hot seat, we've got Justin. Welcome to the show. Thank Are you. Are ready to get burned? As a matter of fact, I actually am sunburnt right now. So. All right. Okay. So, you're in the wilderness, right? Yes. And you come across a family of bears. What are you going to do? Oh, well, uh, I've been taught by some books I'm supposed to become bigger than the bear and make sounds that I've never made before. All right. Uh, however, I would probably run. Uh, yeah. You do uh, realize bears can smell fear, right? Did I mention fear? Huh. Good yeah. point. This man has no fears. Do you have any fears? That's for another time, Bryce. All right. That's for another time. Now let's get you out of here before you say anything you're going to regret. <laughs> yes, that's good. Hello, my name is Justin Colas. I am here with a very special guest today. His name is Bryce. Um, and he found a brilliant album called Swamp People. It's for the show Swamp People. Um, and he is here with us today uh, to review this, this video. Howdy. Hey. So, so Bryce, tell me, tell me your thoughts about this CD. So when I first saw it, it was on somebody's desk out in the studio. Okay. And I was just like, hmm, this looks interesting. I didn't know this existed. So I picked it up and I popped it in the CD player. And, and what was on this CD when you put it in? Well, the first track, I believe, is the opening track for the show. I think it's the show's theme song. Okay. So that's really basic. Um, it's got some interesting lyricism. You've got uh, the word swamp people repeated over and over again. Uh, you know, basic stuff. Uh, putting hot sauce on everything. Mm. And Deep. What, what do you think that means? Well, what I really think it means is it's the fight between uh, good and evil uh -huh. inside the main character of the show's mind, this guy right here. I believe that he is struggling emotionally about whether or not what he does is right. That's a deep answer. You, yeah. Uh, you must have given that th some thought. I really did. Yeah. Okay. Um, now tell me where you see this album going in the, the future. I really see it going straight to the top of everybody's end of the le your list, really. Oh. I mean, it's, it's really good. Okay. It's a solid effort. Well, I myself uh, listened to it as well, and I, I, I was just testing you to see uh, how your taste was, and I'd say, you, you got it. Yeah. You got it, kid. Um, and <laughs> I, I, I noticed that there was a song called um, Amanda Shaw. Yeah. D could you tell me anything about that? Oh, well, that's not the uh, album. It, the, the name of the thing is French Jig. That's who did the song. Ah, oh, you got See, me. <laughs> they really make it easy for you to tell what the title of the song is by putting the name of the artist who did the song first. That, that really helps you understand the, ah, the album. That Because really sense. what they're saying is that the title of the song doesn't matter. It's the guy that they paid money to do it that matters. I see. Yeah, I, I realized that Steel Bill is not the name of the song yeah. because Swamp People would have written that and that doesn't make sense. So, you caught me red-handed. Yeah. Damn. <laughs> damn. Damn people. Um, have you ever watched this show? No, but I believe that the show is probably really good if it's anything like this album. Well, I can tell you for a fact that it, that it is 
Really good. Really good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mediocre superpowers. Yeah. Tell me. Tell me about those. Tell me what you... What I would like to be able to do if yes. I could have any mediocre superpower? Yes. Uh, you know, I'd like to be able to always find a fully charged battery. What decade would you like to live on if you could live on any decade you wanted to? Now. Now? I live in the now. He lives in the now, guys. I don't want to change who I am. I don't think I personally that's would live in the 1860s because then I could fight in the Civil War. And why would you want to do this? Uh, I saw a movie and there were vampires in the Civil War and I want to fight vampires. Hmm. I think it'll come again, though. You think so? Yeah. Hmm. Every, anything, like, you Wait. see, got, do you guys see, did you see World War Z? Even I though it's, I know it's not about vampires. Vampire, yeah, it's about zombies. But I mean, freaking zombies, they're coming. Maybe uh, we should start a breeding program with the zombies and vampires. Yeah. Yeah, I, I'd probably want to live now, like, in no. this, yeah. This decade? De yeah, because I feel like good things are coming. There's mm. going to be some really bad things, but... Good things, mostly. Good, good, cool, cool things, like really futuristic. I'm all about uh, technology, yeah. fut future-y type stuff. Uh, and I don't think that was uh, a real thing back mm. in the 1860s. Yeah, they didn't if have... If you know what I mean. <laughs> what are you talking about? They had trains. They had trains. Uh, trains are from the future. They are. Mm -hmm. As we notice in Back to the Future. Exactly. They so, brought a train with them. So yeah, it is, it is a fun topic to talk about, although yeah. there's not much to be said about it. Yeah, because you know, everybody knows that the, the 60s are the best decade because that's when they uh, invented um, something. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe if we were going to cut this show, this would be a really great time to cut the show. I don't know. Well, suppose I'll now tell you what to do over summer, although I don't know why I'm a leading authority on that. But anyways, you can do just about anything. The nights get longer, the nights get wilder, and fun will be had. Sun's out, you can go in the water, or go down to the beach perhaps, go on a road trip. Uh, I've read in the comments that people want to know what I am doing over summer, which was a nice uh, thought. I am actually going up to Canada and Alaska to go on a cruise ship and driving through the Canadian Rockies, which is regrettable because... Canada's not really a country. I don't know, I want to go to a foreign country, but it's basically just America's hat. Except for police officers are called Mounties and bridges don't work. Did, did I read something about that? Uh, well, anyways, I'll be doing that. And as for the rest of you, you should follow suit. We could all go on the cruise together. Have a great scrambled fan club party. Well, I think that's about all I have to say. Welcome to The Baker's Dozen. I'm here with Dylan McGilligot, uh head anchor of uh, Scrambled, along with Nora. She's the other anchor, but he's one of them, so that's all that matters. Uh, we're here to talk about uh, a music video released by us, <laughs> uh, recently released on YouTube and Facebook. It's called The Man Cave. Would you like to give us an inside look at The Man Cave, Dylan? I would, thank you. The Man Cave is a music video to the Justin Cola song titled Man Cave. And the video itself actually took about probably an hour and a half to film Indeed. and about an hour to edit. So it was a very quick project. But uh, it was my first music video as a director. And it was my first music video as an artist. So just first times for everything. And uh, I'd have to give it a five, five out of five star rating. It's alongside the, the work of Krispy Kreme and Bass God. So, so <laughs> uh, be excited. Be excited. There's something miraculous coming to this world.
sitting in the man cave doing our thing Playing ping pong, oh we try to sing We order dominoes, cause that's how we fly We go big out there, it's always do or die Next some Star Wars Battlefront 1 or 2 We all got real excited for that third preview We always got refreshments and some tasty snacks So don't trade on us, cause we're we trying to relax We living in the man cave, we do everything all the way A place to reunite, either a day or a twilight We suggest that you behave unless you're feeling real Comprehend. We hope you get the trend that we are men. If we aren't in the cave, we're probably out at the pool Drinking boat drinks and feeling pretty cool If we aren't there, then we hit up the park But usually that's not till it's nice and dark No matter if we're in or out of the cave We usually go harder than a dubstep grave We kick it, we know how we do We live life to the extreme, We live in the man cave We do everything all the way A place to reunite Either a day or a twilight We suggest that you be Unless you're feeling real great We hope you comprehend We hope you get One more time. trend The we live in, in the man, man can we do everything our way A place to reunite Either day or at twilight We suggest that you behave Unless you're feeling real great We hope you comprehend We hope you get the trend That we are men just like this baker's dozen. This baker's dozen. A baker's dozen is 13. 13 <laughs> that, pastries or donuts or better than your average croissants. store bought dozen. <laughs> That's right. Are you a baker? I am a baker. <laughs> cool. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's it for today, folks. Uh, we'll, we'll be back with you for more inside looks at, at lovely topics. Oh, hello there. Hope you enjoyed that episode of Scrambled. I know we did. I did. Watch the next one. <laughs> you really should. Hey, shut up, Bryce. I'm a perfectly compatible host. Anyways, next one should be even better than this one. As you notice, the quality keeps improving. You have a good day now. <laughs>